Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about creating mailers to sellers uh, using Mail Merge. So once you've got the information into your CRM system, in my case it's Podio, um, I want to take that information out into an Excel file so I can Mail Merge all the records uh, into a Word document and that Word document um, automatically populates all the uh, the name information and the uh, address information. God to show you. So the end result, right? The end result is we want to create letters, right? We want to create letters that are personalized to the seller to the potential seller right so uh, we're going to create the labels for the letters and the letters themselves and the letters themselves we want to say dear name right dear seller right because and, and we don't want to have to do this each page so the mail merge takes the information from the uh, database from the CRM system Podio in my case whatever system you're using Excel files whatever into um, with the Word document obviously you're gonna need to use Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel and I'll put a I'll put a link down in the description if you guys don't have that but just Microsoft just Google Microsoft Excel or Word. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something for a year, whatever. But anyway, um, so the end result is to create an easy way to uh, merge all your addresses that you're about to send to a to a set a Word document to make it easy to mail out. Okay, so we take the stack of these that's created and get your kids or whoever you designate to stuff the letters. You guys don't do it unless you, you're just starting off and you do it yourself, which, you know, sometimes I do it myself, but that's what I get kids for. And by the way, uh, you can legally uh, hire your children if you've got a business entity and I'll do another video later about that. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but uh, in this video we're going to talk about creating mail merge documents uh, to send to potential sellers without having to write them out yourself or print them out individually. Okay, so as usual I'm long-winded and let's take a look see here. So we've got the Excel document that we downloaded from Podio. So I'm going to filter this document. So the, this is the um, this is going to be the second month mailer. So we want to hit the individuals. We want to hit potential sellers. This is from a uh, from all my different from several different campaigns. Let's take a look what we got here. We've got um, lead source, section eight, driving for dollars. Um, we've got the campaign, section eight, houses. We've got probates, absentee owners, uh, driving for dollars. Uh, so we've, we've got um, whatever the campaign is, I don't care. Uh, we're just gonna if we've sent a mail the first month then uh, we want to hit them over and over again because most of the responses happen after the first touch right so in in direct mail campaigns um, usually you get contacted you know uh, maybe some after the first mailer but mostly um, mostly after the second or third mailer uh, but uh, anyways so we're going to filter this out to campaigns that aren't blank um, 
we're going to do a status of mail because and I, and I'll go through all these statuses in in a different video from Podio. Uh, these are st the statuses are those that um, we deem that we set depending on what happens to the lead. Okay, so status is mail. We're going to mail those. Uh, action needs to be mailed to. Okay, so the status is mail. Action is mail. And I'll, in another video on Podio, I'll walk you through all how you set all that stuff up if you care. Um, so let's see. So for here, we want where the date mailed first is not blank because we want to have mailed them one time. Okay, and this is a little bit misleading because this is the second mailer that I'm doing, not the original mailer. If this were to be the original mailer, I would want where the date mailed first is blank and all the other fields are are blank too. But in this case, it's the second mailer. Um, could have probably should have been easier if it was the first mailer, but... Uh, you know, whatever. I've got to do a second mailer, so this is the one I'm showing you. So this is the first mailed sent where the um, second mailed is blank because I don't want to have mailed them a second mail before, right? Move myself out of the way. Uh, third mail is blank, fourth mail, all these are going to be blank. Um, so this means that I have mailed them the first time, and I have not mailed them any other time afterwards. So all these, and I have a 12-month mailing a life cycle, which means that if I have not heard from them after 12 months, then I give up on them. Okay, depending on their status, which I'll go over later. But anyway, first date, first mailed. Okay, and also here, which is a good thing to show you, is that it's not only populated for the date first mail, but I want to not mail them a second letter until a month or or a month later than the first letter. Okay, so I don't want to mail them the second letter a week after I mail them the first letter, in other words. So um, I want to filter, date filters, uh, where the uh, first mailed is before, and today is 12-16, so um, it needs to be before 11-16-2017. Uh, so it has to be, so I first mailed them January 1st, 2017, really? Is that right? And I didn't mail them, and I mailed them, okay, so 9-6, and I didn't mail them a second time. Really? I, I mean, what are these? So I have to look at these to see. Absentee owners... Lead captured on 1020 and first mailed on 111. Obviously, this data is incorrect, but I will look at those later. This is from. So, what is that telling me? Sorry, guys, I got to figure this out. So, I lead. I captured the lead on 1020, 2017, and I mailed them out. 111 2017 that's 1020 one that's impossible so obviously those dates wrong but for this I'm gonna have to look at this I'm gonna write this down look at and it's always good to see your data data in data out and this was created by my virtual assistant so I'll have to talk to her about uh, why those dates are off so look at the dates on second mailers anyway so 
I'll look at that, but for our example to show you here is that we are going to be mailing a total count. Let's see how many, how many we're going to mail. I don't want to mail too much. Uh, so a total count of 491 records. So 491. Um, and what are the campaigns? Absentee owner and driving for dollars. That sounds right. Okay, so I mailed one time that I have not mailed a second time or greater. Right, all these are blanks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so 491. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this list. And I'm going to copy it into a new tab, right? 400, all those, yep. Yeah. I'm going to copy those into a new tab because those on the first tab are filtered. And if we mail merge those, it's going to get all of them. That's the purpose of copying this to a new tab. And then I'm going to call this... Mail. Mail candidates. And then I'm going to delete this tab here. Okay. Uh, so this is the seller lead second mailer for this month. I'm going to save that. So we have a total of, and obviously I'm going to check those dates before I mail these, but a total of 491 that I need to mail out, which will give the kids something to do. And let's see here. Okay, so we have at this point um, an Excel document. Okay, so we're going to pull up our, our mailing template in the Word document. So let me pull that up. So let me pull this up in the in my Google Drive here. So I should have a template. One of my virtual assistants here. Mail templates. Okay, mail merge. All right, this is a good one. So I'm going to download this. I want to buy your house. So it's in download. So I'm going to take this mail merge, enable editing. And like I said, you need Word. I don't know if you can do this in Google Docs or what, but I just use Microsoft Word. Um, you might be able to do it. I don't know if you can do a mail merge in, in Google Docs or whatever, but in Word, this is how you do it. So we're going to say mailings, start mail merge, and we're going to do these letters. Okay, so this letter... We're going to select a recipient from a, an existing list, right? Bam. And we're going to pick the list that we have created. Um, seller lead, second mailer, right? In the mail candidates tab, yes. So. Here is the uh, here are the fields in which it will auto populate. So you want to pick these fields. So you say, dear um, seller name. You can put you know depending on the fields that you have set up in your Excel file. I've already created these uh, seller names. Let me show you again. So like uh, seller. Seller name, I've created this field here, which would uh, auto 
populate uh, the and I'll show you how I get these names. I get these names from county uh, court records and stuff. Uh, seller name and property address, right? So the two mail merge fields that I don't have to retype these letters over and over again, right? Are seller name and property address. So when they come out, like I showed you before, they will come out with dear, uh, what's your name? And I want to... If you, uh, I would like to buy your house located at, I would like to buy your property at, and it'll give the full property address, okay? So for each one of these, it'll do that, okay? Good deal. So, so I am going to finish and merge, boom, and I'm going to edit individual documents so I can make sure that all records, that make sure that everything looks good, right? So here we go. So you can see here, dear name, name, I'm writing, I'm interested in buying your property at individual address, right? So you need to set up your mail merge, you need to set up the Word document, you need to set up the Excel document, and you need to make sure that your CRM is, is uh, if you don't have CRM, that's okay. You know, before I had a CRM, I used a whole bunch of Excel files, but still, it becomes a pain in the butt, so you want to take all your Excel files and dump them into one repository. That's why you have your CRM. But anyway, that's a different discussion. I'll put a I'll put a different video on CRM, and I'll give you tutorials on Podio and all that stuff. But for a Word document, you can see that 491 documents have been created. Every document has uh, the current date, the dear and dear name right um, and I'm interested in buying your property at their address so you save this file boom save as um, And I am saving this as second mailers. Twenty seventeen, twelve sixteen. And this is the file that will get created with four hundred all you saw that I created four hundred and ninety one documents in about two or three minutes. So and you know, I've been talking and stuff, so it you know seems longer but once you get used to the clicks it's just click you can do this in in two or three minutes and you'll end up with 491 word documents that you can feed to your uh, printer you can feed to an outsourced company or you can um, feed to whoever needs to be fed to you know virtual assistant or assistant or whatever um, and there you have uh, mail documents, and you do the same thing with labels, right? You can do the exact same thing with labels, and if you want me to show you labels, I don't want to make this video too long, but if you want me to show you labels, I can do that in a different video, but it's the exact same steps, except that uh, you start off with uh, mailings and you say labels, right? And you can, if you have a printer that does envelopes, you can do it with envelopes too, but it's a exact same steps you pick your uh, recipients you pick your fields you pick your mail merge and then you hit finish and you're done boom so take those you take those letters and you print them you get a big old stack of 400 uh, if you want to do it or your kids do it my kids do it and you put those into the letters into the envelopes right you put the uh, and I'll show you okay so I would upload this I would upload these files into the Google Drive. Have my um, and stick them into Ready to Mail. And then once, uh, so so 
usually my virtual assistant does this step, but I just wanted to show you guys. So she would stick it into ready to mail folder. Once she says, hey, there's something ready to mail, we mail them. And then I stick that file into the mailed folder. And then once I mail them, I say, okay, a virtual assistant, I have mailed them. Then she updates the date sent on the file that's in the processed folder, right? I put these, after I mail them, I stick them in the processed folder. Excuse me, and she uh, sticks it, and then she updates the date, and then we're done. Long way to get there, but those are the steps on how to create mailers to sellers using the mail merge function, a uh, feature. It's not a function, the mail merge feature in Microsoft Word. Uh, like I said, you need Word, Excel, and that's pretty much it. And if you have a CRM sister, system, which I highly recommend to organize things. That's it, the three things. But um, if you've got any questions, let me know. As always, I'm here to answer your questions and hopefully uh, optimize your business. And as always, be a light, speak truth, change lives, and I wish you much success in your business and in life. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. Peace. Got to figure out how to turn this off now. Come on, turn off.